Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome. This is your reading. And uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a look at all about romance. So we're going to take a look at Scorpio's love life. What you can expect. What's coming forward. What is going on with Scorpio? Okay. So let's take a look at your energies right now, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. And if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements and see if they resonate with you okay you can also take a look at your person's placements okay let's get into it okay we have past life relationship you have known each other before okay so this may be someone from your past this may be someone from a past life someone that you really feel very familiar with right and we also have honeymoon Enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. Okay, so you guys may be taking a trip together, going going off on some adventure. Um, but I feel like you guys are spending a lot of time together. Okay, so let's get some more energies for Scorpio. Do you have anyone wants to come out? Okay, get some energies for Scorpio. Okay, so we have creative writing. So you may want to get your feelings down on paper. There may be something that you need to say. A, this person may also be writing you a letter or you may be writing this person a letter, right? Um, or you just may be someone who really keeps a journal to write their feelings. We have Archangel Gabriel. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen or article or book. Okay. And we also have patience. We have Archangel Jaffiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So have patience with this person. Okay. Let the situation kind of flow naturally. Don't try to force anything. Um... I feel like, you know, just, just give each other time to really enjoy each other, to really miss each other, to really kind of nurture this relationship, okay? Make the heart grow fonder, right? So let's get some more energy for Scorpio. Okay, we have a change in the wind, number 12. So there may be changes coming around for you. Things may be changed. Uh, changing and we have orphaned the number five so you know with orphaned here I feel like this may be a, a past person that you may have felt abandoned from or this may be someone that you have left behind you know <clears throat> but I, I feel like there's something between you two that may be blocked at the moment there's there's some feelings that are left unsaid that haven't come out yet and if this is a past person i feel like there's there's some, some communication that needs to be that needs to be communicated it needs to be talked out right um but i feel like you and this person are maybe going on a trip going on some kind of getaway to really take time out with each other so maybe that situation is going to help so let's get some love oracles for Scorpio give me more of a message for Scorpio please the cassette yeah okay so and a lot of times Scorpio you get these cards to where you're replaying things or certain events keep happening in your love life kind of over and over. So, and I feel like this is this is telling you that, yeah, this may be one of those situations to where, you know, things are kind of replaying. They're, they're being replayed out in the situation. So this may definitely be someone who you have dealt with in the past who wants to come back. 
And for some reason, Scorpio, I feel like you have a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of back and forth in the situation. It could be because the situation. I feel like either you or your person likes to sabotage the situation. Maybe they don't feel confident enough to really come forward to you, to really um, move things to the next level. There's someone who doesn't have the confidence, who are is just sabotaging the situation. And it may be your energy, right? Because we also have stabbed in the back. So there may be some kind of betrayal that happened in the past that maybe you just aren't fully letting go of in order to move to the next level, in order to get past the situation. So there may be a need for you, Scorpio, to, you know, just totally release the past. This may be a time for you to get through your situation and maybe take time to heal from past events so that you can move forward with, with love. You know, whether it's with a past person or with a new love. Um, you're not able to really move forward unless you fully heal in your situation. So, and I feel like that's what you need to do. You need to take time out for yourself and heal. I feel like that's where this patience is coming in at. You know, don't try to force the situation. You know, let things, you know, go with the flow and uh, happen naturally, right? So let's get some uh, romantic tarot and we'll see what's going on with Scorpio and love. Give me a message for Scorpio, please. Okay. So at the bottom, we have organization. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. Okay, the number four. So, um, you may want to ask for some advice. You know, if you're not, if you don't have anybody that you can ask for advice, Scorpio, don't be hesitant to ask your angels ask your inner voice you know use your intuition in this situation okay we have the ten of action this is the ten of wands energy so i feel like you or this person are carrying a lot of burdens you're carrying a lot of weight it could be that you and this person are very busy um, maybe you work long hours and you're not able to spend a whole lot of time together uh, but i feel like you know Things could be looking up for you, right? Um, the Ten of Action. You're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health, okay? And we also have the Eight of Emotion. This is the Eight of Cups energy. So you may be wanting to move away from something, wanting to let something go, wanting to purge some kind of energy. And maybe this energy of the past that you're working with. Okay. So you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life, right? So I, I feel like that's what you're really wanting is change. You know, you want things to go your way, to work out, to, you know, get better. That better is coming, Scorpio, so just hang in there. You have the healer of abundance. This is the queen of pentacles energy. Okay, so there's some kind of solid offer coming for you. There's uh, a solid offer on the table, okay? And I, I feel like you're going to find this very valuable. This could also be some kind of increase coming for you. But in this love reading, this is a solid offer. This is something that, you know, is really going to open your eyes to something new to change. OK, 
okay? Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for your family. This situation involves a person, possibly you, who's down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. Okay, so beautiful. Okay, let's get some messages from your person. Let's see what your person would like to say to you if they have a chance. Messages from your person, please, for Scorpio. What messages do we have? Okay, we have, we need to let each other go. So I feel like you're kind of going back and forth with this person. I feel you even though we're apart. So there may be no contact at the moment, you know. You may not have had too much contact with them. I wish things could be different. So you would like to change your perspective or this person would like to change your perspective. It's time for me to heal now. And we have, I hide behind Excuse me, I hide behind material things. So I feel like, you know, either you or this person may be coming across as having it together more than you really do. You know, and I feel like someone's putting on a show. Someone, you know, is still working on themselves, but they're not quite there yet. Right. So let's get some more messages for Scorpio and the person. Yeah, I feel like they're working on it, but they're not quite there yet. You know, that's why this patience keeps coming in. Um, and definitely healing. Messages for this person, please. Messages for Scorpio. Okay. I need to figure myself out. Definitely. I feel like someone's doing a lot of soul searching. It is all too much. Feel like they're very overwhelmed. I can't do this right now. Yeah, I feel like they're not quite ready. No one understands me but you. Okay. And what is the truth? You know, there's something that needs to come out here. <laughs> I am stuck in visions of us together. So definitely. This person definitely wants to come back to you, Scorpio. This person wants to spend more time with you. They feel like you are the only one who understands them, but they can't really figure out the situation. They can't really figure out the chemistry, your connection, what keeps drawing them back, you know? And, you know, they're kind of at this tug of war to where, you know, I really don't want to do this right now, but I want this right now, you know? So I feel like they, they're really looking for some truth and understanding here, okay? Because they're kind of back and forth. They feel like they're replaying the cycle over and over. And, you know, I, I don't know why I get that so much with Scorpio, but... With Scorpio, your readings are always kind of going through the motions and not really figuring things out totally, right? If I'm wrong, Scorpio, in the comment section, tell me about it. Please, tell me about it. I'm always up for some uh, constructive criticism. Okay? So don't be afraid to speak your mind. This is a safe place for you. And I read all your readings. I mean, I read all your comments. Okay? So don't feel like you're going to offend me because you won't. And let's take a look at some more messages for Scorpio. Okay. Okay, so there may be a new job coming about, right? 
We also have step into a higher vibration. Good things are happening. So stay positive about the situation. I also feel like either this person has cheated on you or there was some kind of cheating in the past. That may be this past hurt that either you or this person need to get through. But happy times are coming. Things are going to improve. They, they are going to get better. Yeah, definitely. They are going to get better. So we have miracles are occurring. And I need to speak my mind, right? So definitely, want, someone wants to come in with some kind of truth. Let your walls down. Let down your walls and be open to new opportunities. You have to let go so that something better can come. Definitely. And I'm really feeling like those are, those are your past, that's past pain that you need to let go of. And letting down your walls is going to, you know, give you more opportunity for healing and new love. You know, you're not going to get the love that you want unless you do the healing, do the work. And, you know, let down, let down your guard, let down your walls and have courage. Okay, Scorpio, have courage. You have a lot of courage. You have a lot of love to offer, right? So let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio and this person. Messages for Scorpio and this person, please. What's going on? Give me more messages. More messages for Scorpio. Yeah. The Ten of Wands. Definitely. You and this person have a lot of burdens. But I feel like you're kind of walking away from those burdens. This person wants to take some kind of action towards you. They they want, they definitely, they definitely want to take action. This person wants to come to you. They want to step to you correct. They want to give you this solid offer, this committed um, offer, um, and speak their truth to you. They have a lot to say, Scorpio, and they're working on themselves. They've been working, and look at this. They're taking more control of the situation. They want to love you unconditionally. Um, they're bringing a lot of love with them. Look at this, Scorpio, the lovers. So this is a soulmate connection. You know, this person will fight for you. This person is willing to defend you at all costs. They want this relationship. They want to win um, at all costs, right? They want to bring you this offer, this commitment. Um, they, they may even want to pop the question to you. So definitely that's what's coming for you. And we also have the magician. So definitely wanting to create this new relationship, create something more abundant, more satisfying, more successful. They're, they've been working on themselves, Scorpio, and they're ready to kind of come forward and make things happen. So I feel like the ball's in your court here. You know, let's get a timeline for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? When will this happen for Scorpio? Give me a message, please. When will this happen for Scorpio? Okay, this one. Sometime before February. Uh, I feel like you and this person are going to unite sometime before February. At the bottom, we have eight months. Okay, so definitely something happening. Okay, let's get an, let's get an angel number for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to hear? What does Scorpio need to hear, please? An angel number. Okay, three, 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 potential. Right. Your chance to reach your highest potentials are here. Perseverance has gotten you where you are and you have been through so much. This guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be. Okay. Um, Scorpio, your affirmation. My potential is infinite. I use my strength as my ally to pursue my highest good. Okay. So that is your angel number and your affirmation. 
So Scorpio, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements, okay? And I hope this helps you. And love you so much, Scorpio. And to your next reading, many blessings, love and light.